Well done, Lieutenant. I wish there were more colonial officers that had your tenacity and spirit. But right now, we need to plan a tight defense. I've consulted with my top advisors, and I believe that if we can establish a perimeter, There's we can There's no hold time it. for that, Magistrate. Our intelligence confirms that the time to strike the Xenomorph's primary clusters is now. Lieutenant, you will command the assault. By whose authority? I am still magistrate of this colony, and I will con By order of the Colonial Crisis Act under subsection 1602, I hereby supersede your authority in this matter. Lieutenant, you may commence with the operation. Man, this turns they have a serious stick up their butt. And this is the official last course. mission of the uh, pre precursor campaign. And then after this, there's nothing else. So let's make the most of it. So what, what is that, guys? You want tanks? Oh, we got a starport now, actually. That's uh, that's different. Um, normally, you wouldn't get that as a part of the, the demo. As you, as you saw, the demo ended before we... we got any further in the tech tree. I mean, we did get Goliaths, kind of, but they were more like heroes. To be honest, though, I, I don't think it did a very good job at maybe selling the campaign, because there was no spellcaster units or anything like that. It was just very simple, kind of, marines and tanks and stuff is the, is the best you could do. And it was really easy, but, you know. As I said, I was playing the demo as it was intended. You can tell, and yes, by the way, you can tell if I'm in the shareware by the color, the tint of the, uh, the the green here on the side. That's how you can tell. So it's that's kind of interesting though that they they you can tell by the UI. But you know whatever. Uh, let me go build a, a supply depot. Actually, Edmund Edmund should go into a siege. So um, first I'm gonna just build the crap out of uh, units, and then I'm going to go and uh, attack. Well, I I mean I'll try the I'll try to get like I I guess I'm gonna get race or something, and race are kind of shit so I don't really want to get them. I'm not playing like ultra competitive here. I, well, I never do. I don't know. The siege tanks and uh, and marines worked pretty well last time. Wouldn't mind doing that again. It's the king of strategies. If, if you don't like siege tanks and marines, I, don't, I just I don't even know where to start with you. It's the best, the fucking best ever. All right, let's start making marines, and then we're gonna go bridge into the other stuff. Oh, there's there's, there's a the poor zergling. The interesting thing is I I don't think normal tanks could kill marine uh, zerglings in one hit, or maybe they could. Maybe I'm on maybe I'm on drugs. I don't know. Something about the siege tanks reduce the damage. I think that's a good enough amount of. Uh, I'll get one more SCV. Mostly because I, I have three marines here, and so making one more SCV will make it an even number, which completely satisfies my uh, OCD. I, I it, it was way more elaborate than I ever wanted it to be. Apparently, factories are really expensive in this. Weren't they 150 before? Nah, they weren't. Well, I'm, I'm now in the actual default game, so it's actually patched up now, so it's, they have all their cha their little changes that they made. Oh, there's no ghosts, you see? Dude, if they had the nukes, I would like, I would be so all over that, but no, they didn't have the nukes. In the, in the demo. Uh, like, as I said, no, no interesting spellcasters at all. Rip. Oh well. Uh, I guess, uh, well, no academy. I don't want to get an academy. Excuse, that's not siege tanks and marines. Are you crazy? Maybe he does that. Alright. We could also go, like, the the marine attack and armor rep, but once again, I, no point. Um, I will need another supply depot, though. While well, this is all going up. Uh, he killed two of them? You're a badass. He's got five kills. Duke doesn't fuck around. You want a piece of me, boy? It's it's a, a our arc arc light shock cannon. That's that's what he's using, which is I think the the weapon that they always use. 
when they're tanks, so I don't know why his is special. It's not fair. He's a general, I know, but seriously. It's not fair. Oh, I don't know. I could I could kind of just start heading out now. Actually, this is ju this is only twelve. This is only twelve. Oh, you can get. So now now I can actually get up to the tank tech now, which is kind of fun. Um, but there's no obviously there's no uh, expansion upgrades. Like I didn't see the whatever it was, uh, the 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 Charlon boosters or whatever. Yeah, they don't exist. I need to build another tank really fast. Uh, you should be mining minerals. I really need those. Oh, that's that's not that's not a factory. That's a command center. Oh, kite them back. Marines, why are you so cost effective? Marines, why why did you just die? All right, well. Get the two more to replace them. And then, I don't know, one more. Oh, they got they got the, their siege bone down. Should I, should I do it with the old classic three tank maneuver that worked really well last time? I, I, guess, I guess that's a good idea. I, I always like the classics. And Mutas are suck are, are the suck. Poor Mutas. They they don't deserve my shit. Alright. Uh, I don't see any buildings there yet. Oh what? Oh no. I was like I'm like, oh god, they don't have siege mode, but they do. So I had a Marine Marines can't go into siege mode despite what you may think. I like it's slightly more difficult. Not by much, though. But slightly more difficult. I mean, I mean, I, th I think the Zerg are trying. I think the Zerg are trying. I I'm, I'm still not too sure. Oh wow, they could, they could go behind those things. That's not even fair. Alright, let's just move these guys up. Kinda need them over here. I'm having these guys hold position, FYI, just because I uh, want them to maintain a firing line in front of the, the enemy. Probably don't need this many marines, but... You don't tell me what to do. Alright, move up slightly. Oh, rip that marine. I see there's two little red blips there. Oh, they just don't care. All right. Your forces are under attack. Jacked up and good to go. Outstanding. Oh, let's run back. I know. So, oh, by the way, there's a little, there's a little thing that you can do when you play against Zerg with the tanks. Tanks by themselves overkill the first thing that they see, as in they all target it usually, and they just completely waste, like, they're really, really, really powerful shots. And there's nothing more orgasmic than listening to all the, a bunch of tanks sieging mode. Because all you know is that in, like, five seconds, hell, hell is gonna break loose. Guess I'll keep making marines. You know, uh, just, just for fun, Keep mining gas. Just for fun, let's go see what the tech tree would have had for me. I honestly, I don't really need more units of this to win, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's see. Is there anything else up here? Oh, there, there is a sunken colony. No, oh, get away from it. Get away from it. You're dumbasses. You know, maybe, maybe you guys deserve to die. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm not a mean-spirited person, but seriously, you're testing my patience. And that's almost done. I guess we'll just move everyone up here. That's not a whole lot left.
I guess you guys can go get those videos. I guess. Good stuff. You know, the Duke did make a reference to Alpha Squadron, though. In the actual campaign itself, which is interesting. Um, he's, ta he's talking about how, like, they wouldn't have been sloppy or something. I, I don't know, that's all I remember. Yeah, it's race and dropships, uh, like I kind of thought. As I said, this wasn't even in the campaign, so, you know, whatever. I guess, I guess you can join in. Let's let's see what's over down here. Ah, uh, there's there's Zergs over here. Go go go! Outstanding. And they're fools. What? You know, I can't even path around this, so I, I I don't know why I'd make fun of them. These Marines are being retarded. Why the hell are you over there? Whatever, just go join go, 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 go join this squadron over here. Yeah, and do you see how they just like completely overkilled that one drone for no reason? But all of a sudden now, they all target different things, so... I don't know, AI in tanks is really strange. Also, you should all really move down here. These guys need cover. So now we're attacking red, which is a different kind of uh, xenomorph. I mean, it, you look at their names and it even says Zerg Overlord. Like, it says that in the campaign, too. Like, uh, the, sorry, in the, the shareware as well. They're, they're referred to as Zerg. So, but that was intentional. I guess they were still studying them, so they didn't know what the name was. That's the, still the assumption I'm making. Dude, I fucking love tanks so much. Look at, look at this. Look. The, the one counter to the Zerg conga line is a fuck ton of tanks. Fucking delicious. Alright, let's make these guys move up. We figured that they would like over overlord drop me or something. And then they even attack the the, the, the the sunken for me as well. I like these guys. So obviously there's like a base or something to the side there. Uh, apparently I do not have a, a group set up for these guys. But I do now. Well, I have a fuck ton of like resources, so... I, I'm just... I, I refuse to make more supply depots. Stop getting shot at over there. Maybe I should do the upgrades. There you go. Oops. I, I kind of pressed cancel. I think that's pretty much it. Yep, they got nothing else here. Alpha Squadron wins again! And there's this little thing here. With like two little jetpacks. Right. So clearly there's something in that direction worth exploring, so let's go. It's a, it's a single hydrolisk. No, oh, no, it goes down this way. Oh, there's, look, there's shit there. And there's this group here. I probably should group up these marines appropriately, but I won't. Because that's that's for lame tards. Uh, I don't think there's any other place that they could possibly... Well, it could come from down here, so let's go send some marines there just to kind of check it out. I mean, I could have I brought an SUV along. Not, not only to enact repairs, but to... I don't know. Do do SUV like thing like make bunkers and stuff. Bunkers are amazing. All right, go up here. Oh, apparently one guy was not with them. I think there's probably another base over here somewhere. I mean, there's too much empty map over there for it not to be. Oh God. Oh. Oh no. Friendly fire. Whoops. Go, go, go. Let's move. Alright, guess we'll keep, keep moving these guys down. Frozen. I haven't got all day. Destination. It's a shame that, that 
Duke never talks, because I, I kind of like him. I would I would have liked him to voice the blinds, but you know, the, the, the firebot is kind of nice too. But that was pretty much all the the thing the thing that they had for that. I think I used it in like one of my custom campaign maps, or I tried to at least. I I, I don't think I showed it off to you guys because I don't know where it is. I just remember using those lines because I'm like, oh cool, it was something that wasn't actually in the campaign. I wonder if anyone will know where I got it from. But I don't think it ever came out because I didn't show you guys. I don't even remember what it was, I just remember thought it, thinking it was really unique. It was, it was my favorite part was there being like undiscovered lines. You know. It, it's kind of like if like there's a movie or something you really like. And like you find like there's like deleted scenes or something. That's what it was to me basically. I, I kind of liked it. Just for that reason alone. Is there anything over here? Oh no, there isn't. I guess it's the end of that. Yeah, there's nothing else there, so... I think this is literally the end of the base here. Why are they... Okay, so they decided to go remake the Hydralisk then. So that's, that's important. Our Hydralisk production is down, let's go remake that. Even though they have like no hatcheries. I'm guessing they don't. I mean, they might have more this way. I'm assuming that's it. I, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. Oh, we got him. Receiving incoming transmission. Lieutenant, by edict of Confederate High Command, all matters regarding these xenomorphs are under Class 7 seal. Do not speak of the existence of the xenomorphs or in any way relay the events surrounding their appearance on Chao Sara. Failure to comply with these orders will result in immediate termination. This conversation never took place. We were never here. Yeah, we already heard this. Uh, I guess they moved it from the uh, one to the other. And that's the official end of the Precursor campaign. Um, there are still some more campaigns. Uh, the as I said, the we're gonna do mostly I'm focused on the canon ones. Um, not right away. I'll just I'll space it out. Uh, I, this was quick and easy, and I just got back from a vacation, so I figured why not. Um, so there's the uh, Enslavers campaigns, which are uh, don't have voice dialogue, unfortunately. Uh, there's also the N64 stuff. Once again, no voice can uh, dialogue for that one either. As I said, this is the this is unique in the fact that there's it actually has some voices for it, which is kind of cool. I like that aspect of it. Uh, yeah, so it's just basically Enslavers and uh, um, N64 stuff. Because Blizzard considers that canon, even though I don't know why they did. Uh, but they basically they say it's anything that they made is, is A-OK. -okay, except for things like Iron Chef or something, like the weird arcade games they made for StarCraft 2. Apparently that's not canon. Um, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know if anyone really cares about the StarCraft storyline anymore, but... Um, to be honest, some of this I haven't done. Like this, this one I've done the precursor, but I haven't actually finished uh, Enslavers ever. So I'm, you know, I kind of want to see what that is. And uh, as I said, we'll do that some other time. I just did this because it's quick and easy. So if you're watching the entire playlist of uh, StarCraft, uh, uh, just know that the next one my mic quality kind of drops a, g a bit because I just kind of I don't know the mic was worse or whatever. And I, I think I was bitching about my internet connection there. Don't take me seriously there. I was just really mad about something at the time. So. Uh, so if you're continuing to watch the playlist, uh, enjoy. Take care.